I just thought I should share something with you guys today and it's about a conversation that I had with one of my relatives earlier on today and I feel like if she needed to hear this so so much then there's so many other people that would need to hear this so we had a lengthy conversation and without mentioning names one of the things that she said to me was she didn't know whether she was going left or right north east whatever the case may be in her life and she feels like at this point in time with her age considering her age she could have achieved a couple of things in life and that's still not the case she's had a couple of failures she feels like every single time she tries something or when it looks like she's about to achieve something then it feels like there's a blockage somewhere so what i said to her was one you need to quit doubting yourself moving forward and second of all forgive yourself for your past whatever happened there should remain there it's your past it's not your future it's not present it's not your future so i said to her i'll make just a simple example for you so you understand this a little bit more and one of the examples um that i made to her was let's say you are staying with your parents right and your parents wanted to go on a five-day trip so in doing so they would you would be the only person that's left in the house so if your parents give you the key they trust you to take care of the shop of the chores they trust you to take care of whatever needs to be taken care of around in the house whatever the case may be now if your parents come back five days later and things are not done to their satisfaction whether you had visitors in the absence these beer bottles everywhere um, or everything is just lying around and um, the chores are not done the next time your parents want to go on a trip for a couple of days they won't trust you with the house key because they know that you're not capable of taking care of the household in the absence so it works exactly the same as God guys you should be a trusted source so by doing that with your parents you take away the trust from them so with god if god i mean we ask for a couple of things from god guys we ask for different things we ask for jobs we ask for cars we ask for houses and so forth the list is endless right depending on obviously your preferences now god needs us to be spiritually mentally emotionally physically ready to receive the things that are due to us so if god feels that you're not ready for the car that you're asking for he won't give it to you because what's the point of giving you a car if he knows you're going to crash it what's the point of giving you a house if he knows you're not going to be able to take care of it so with him as well in order for him to give you what's due to you you need to be a trusted source to him i encourage you guys to prepare yourself in the process Whatever you prepare yourself to invest in yourself, spiritually, mentally, physically, whatever the case may be, so things can be handed over to you, be a trusted source. Yeah, so that was a conversation I had to her, I had with her, and she feels so, so much better now. And I really would like you guys to please like and share my video. It could be changing other people's lives. Yeah. And that is it for today, guys. And uh, stay home, stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you so much for listening to my video. It is motivational. Catch up with myself, Jess. And yeah, thanks, guys.